It's hip hip hooray as West African country Mali has been declared free of the Ebola virus by the country's government and the United Nations following a 42-day period without a new case of infection by the virus. A statement read by Usman Kone for the UN says, I declare on this day, January 18, 2015, the end of the end of the Ebola epidemic in Mali. Kone commended the efforts of the country's health workers and international partners for their work to halt the outbreak and thanked them for their hard work and resilience in overcoming the disease. The positive development was also confirmed by Ibrahim Asoche Fall, the head of the Malian Office of the United Nations Mission for Ebola Emergency Response, who says that Mali had come out of the epidemic. The Ebola virus hit Mali a little over a year ago, with the nation recording seven deaths. However, the last infected patient recovered and left hospital in December 2014. Kerosene users in Nigeria will be interested in this statement from the general manager of NMPC's retail Ufot Ibanga that the institution has initiated a project to protect citizens from the many middlemen who prevent end users from enjoying subsidies on kerosene. The scheme, called Kero Correct, will see non-governmental organizations and volunteers drawn from all of Nigeria's regions assist in monitoring the distribution and sale of kerosene. The organizations will also ensure that kerosene is sold at the regulated price of 50 naira per litre at mega and affiliate stations of NNPC and will involve the distribution of a total of 1,500 trucks of kerosene across NNPC's retail, mega and affiliate stations. Mr. Ibanga has said that all 524 of NNPC retail mega, floating mega and affiliate stations across Nigeria are involved in the scheme and that the volunteers will assist to monitor discharge and sale of the product to serve as an independent feedback system which will ensure that the process is transparent. Mr. Nwaku Anthony, the chairman of the Kero Correct Committee, said that the threefold duties of the NGOs and volunteers will include monitoring of discharge and sale of the product, ensuring orderliness at sales points, and alerting authorities in case of any breaches. The chairman enjoined volunteers to take their work seriously to bring out the best for the masses and urged them to justify the trust reposed in them by ensuring that the Nigerian masses derive maximum benefits from the scheme. Executive Director Commercial of the Pipeline and Products Marketing Company, Mr. Frank Amigo, noted that though kerosene was the most subsidized product, the Nigerian masses had not been enjoying the subsidy. He's quoted as saying, The Kero Correct initiative is thus designed to distribute and sell kerosene directly to end users from NNPC retail mega and affiliate stations across the country at the government regulated price of 15 naira per litre to ensure effective control. We're counting on you volunteers now to make sure this happens. A Kenyan woman named Siku Kimeria is rapidly shooting to continent-wide fame with her wry and thought-provoking book on marriage. The book, titled Of Goats and Poisoned Oranges, encourages readers to explore what Miss Kimeria describes as the tumultuous marriage of a middle-aged Kenyan power couple living in the hills of Mount Kenya as it is told by different parties in their life. Miss Kimeria took her book from Kenya to Uganda this year when she launched it at the headquarters of the Ugandan Women Writers Association, Femrights. In the process, she drew praise from other female writers present. According to Hilda Twongyerwe, the executive director of Femrights, the book is well written and it is very practical. She tells a story like a seasoned writer. Barbara Oketa, a Ugandan, said the book inspires one on how to tell a story in a manner that interests the reader. Ms. Kimeria wrote her book in three months and has stated that the book aims to show that the truth is not a universal concept, but one that is dependent on the person telling the story. The book's blurb states very interestingly that, it is generally accepted that there are only two possible outcomes to the flipping of a coin, heads or tails. In reality, there is also a small possibility of the coin landing on its edge. Sounds like something we definitely want to read. So if you're just happening on the show, this is EL Reports and every single weekday we share with you some of the most progressive Pan-African news every single day. That's right guys, because every day there's good news and it is our job to make sure that you get to see, hear and experience it. We're going on a quick break now, when we get back, plenty more to come.